in this tutorial we are going to design a patch antenna and for that we are using cst 2021 version tool this is cst micro web studio now here in the project template uh, since we are designing patch antenna i am selecting microwave and rf optical and here the first thing is antenna there are other options also available based on the structure you are going to implement you can use this structure moving next then since this is just a patch antenna, we are selecting the planar patch here as an option. Going next, the analysis domain is selected here. And then the units. So these are the default units which will be there in your project space which you are going to create this project template which we are creating. Next, so here you will need to define the frequency range for which you are going to simulate for the results. So our antenna frequency range should be between 2 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz moving further then this is the template selected and let us go with the default or you can name your own for example my patch antenna here is the example and then finish so now this is going to create a workspace for you where you will design your patch antenna so we have this patch here which we are going to design so we will have a substrate of 70 by 60 mm square and then this is the patch dimensions mentioned here so let us start with the making the substrate first for example so we are going to design it here so the first thing is you can select this screen the surface here by just clicking the left click on your mouse and uh, if you keep it clicked and drag you can rotate this plane here so this is your plane and what is the dimension x y z you can follow here so this is x y and z three dimension so accordingly once you once we'll create the design we'll see the use of these dimension x y and z and uh, for the designing you will need to go to the modeling thing modeling ribbon here and here you will see the elements the shapes here so we are going to create a patch antenna which will be on a pcb like 3d brick shape so here we are going to select this brick and then uh, you double click your mouse left double click drag it based on the position you want to place so right now i am keeping it just a random position and then double click it will define the boundary of your 2d dimension and then you can elevate your third dimension and here i'm just moving my mouse and this is going up and down so just double click and now your shape is here and this pop-up came here where you can define the dimensions of your design box so let us name it substrate and then x minimum so here the dimensions are useful so with the reference of dimension we are going to keep the dimension so then uh, here in the x dimension it is 70 and in y it is 60 mm so what i am doing let us say x is the uh, let us say x is the width of this substrate so width of substrate by 2 so i am keeping my design symmetric to origin so that is why the x min is kept minus ws by 2 2 x max will be ws by 2 because it is symmetric around x axis similarly symmetry around y axis so if the length is ls length of substrate to ls plus ls by 2 okay and uh, then the z minimum so i want to keep this pcb at the base so that is zero and the height of the substrate the z max will be the height of the substrate so it is for example 1.5 mm in our case so we are not writing mm because this is the fixed thing defined in once we are creating our project uh, and now you will be surprising that what is the ws and ls here so once you click ok the another pop-up will come for ws and ls but before that let us mention what component it is so we can also define material here in the material we can load it from the library the two options available are pec and vacuum but this is our substrate so for example we are going to design it on um, fr4 substrate so then we will need to 
load it from the material library and here we will look for fr4 here you see fr4 lofi material is picked based on the substrate we had now the fr4 lofi is available in the list you can select it and click ok once you click ok as i said wf will be asked so what is the width 70 mm so 70 enter and what is the length 60 so 60 enter or ok and now again i am just double uh, clicking left click on the mouse and then drag so here you see so this is your z plane so this is at the base that is close to zero as we defined you can have a note here that so this is zero that is equals to zero axis and this is on that is equal to zero axis and x and y it is symmetric on x and y so we have defined one shape and this shape is uh, our substrate now i'll need to create the patch on top of this and for that let us take this break option again again we are keeping it symmetric to the center here and uh, now the details so let us name it patch and the x min so now we are keeping it symmetric to the center so x min will be for uh, this time let us say width of patch wp by 2 2 width of patch by 2 y min again similarly minus length of patch by 2 to length of patch by 2 z min this time it will be on top of the substrate which you have just created so the z min is now elevated to the height of substrate so z min will be 1.5 and the z max will be 1.5 plus thickness of material for example empty let us have a variable here again so we'll need to define these variable wp lp and mt so it will ask let us define the material first so this is copper you can again have it from the material library uh, let us see so here you can just go and find copper so here is the option copper okay you can select it and you can click load i already have it loaded so i am selecting it from here now click ok so it is now asking wp so here wp is 38.4 enter 29.8 29.8 enter now empty t is the thickness of copper so based on the laminate we have the thickness of copper is 35 micrometer so i am writing it 0 0.035 so now you see a patch here but this patch doesn't look like the patch here so what we'll need to do we'll need to change the shape here as it is as we can see here so for that we'll have to have some empty space here and then this is the feed line which is connected to the patch we need to connect a feed line so let us first remove this portion from our existing patch and for that we can see the length of the patch 9.9 mm and what is the thickness so for that let us open this calculator for you and just adding so 2.4 mm is the thickness of patch uh, thickness of feed line plus 0 0.0 is the gap on one side 0 0.72 is the gap on another side so it is 3.84 and the length is 9.9 mm so that we can remove it later from the existing design so we'll need to have everything same for the for this patch also and then we'll need to define so this is the remove part remove and uh, now we'll need to define so the x min as uh, here 3.84 this is also symmetric to the x uh, symmetric to the origin so in the x axis so now we will create a half of this again minus 3.84 divided by 2 to 3.84 divided by 2 you can also compute this thing and put it here but for the reference i am writing it this way and now the y min y min is the uh, start of the patch so minus lp by 2 
एंड वाई मैक्स विल बी माइनस एल पी बाई टू प्लस पॉइंट नाइन एम एम नाइन पॉइंट नाइन एम एम ओके एंड द जेड मिन विल बी अगेन ऑन टॉप ऑफ सबस्ट्रेट एंड द थिकनेस विल बी वन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस अगेन एम टी एंड द कंपोनेंट ओके सो नाउ दिस रिमूव पार्ट came here you can see the structure now so this is ground plane this is the copper of 35 micrometer now we need to remove this part from this part so for that what we can do select the patch go to boolean subtract then remove and enter so now you are left with this part now we'll need to add this feed line of 2.4 mm thickness and the length so length we'll start it from the substrate end till this particular patch end so for that we'll need to have the same material as a feed line then keeping it random now name it feed line for the reference x min so this is the thickness 2.4 mm so x min again this time i am putting after calculation 1.2 uh y min so what will be the y min length of divided by 2 2 minus ls by 2 sorry minus lp by 2 so uh, it is the same as we have put the block before remove block before minus lp by 2 plus 9. 9 mm and the jetmin again on the top of substrate with a thickness of 35 micrometer okay okay so last time we have removed the remove part this time we need to add the feed line with this existing structure in order to make it a single piece of metal so add and now this time it is a single piece so the name is Changed. It depends what was the first selection. So let us name it patch. So your substrate is ready. Your patch is ready. Now you will need to create a ground plane here. So for the ground plane, again you need this 3D structure. Define ground. X min will be minus L S by two to L S. over the whole substrate we are going to have this ground of copper layer y min also sorry x min is minus ws by 2 to ws by 2 length will be minus ls by 2 to ls by 2 and the z min so this time we are going in the minus z direction so the z min will be minus of mt to zero because the top layer the top layer is the bottom layer of the substrate that is on zero and this is the copper material click okay uh, now we what is that oh sorry so this thing is something typo error so minus it it should be fine now yeah so now if you can see you have bottom layer you have top layer you can see the thickness and everything here seems okay now we'll need to feed this patch antenna with the power so we need to provide the feed at this location so for that we need to select the face face is selected where we want to place the port now we'll need to compute we need to calculate the dimension for the port here for that we'll need to go to solver ports and calculate port extension so here you see that everything is in proper shape w h e r all is defined and then click calculate click close now save this k value for future reference you can also add a parameter here by just double click k and the calculation was 5.2 right so once you do that you will need to go to home and parametric update so it is already updated that's great so now we can put the waveguide port 
and uh, we'll need to put a number here that will be k multiplied by the substrate thickness in k multiplied by substrate thickness for the jet we want to start it from zero uh, and we'll keep the z max also as k into 1.5 so Jedmin will be we are keeping it substrate height so that it comes to ground click ok once you do this uh, you will need to now you can go to the solver and in the solver keeping everything uh, as default uh, normalized to fixed uh, impedance that is ok adaptive mesh refinement and then we are starting the simulation for the demonstration purpose the simulation might take uh, around four or five minutes or it can take longer also it depends on the design and the set simulation settings which we are keeping we are done with the simulation and we are good to see the results now let's go to results see this so the operation frequency here you can see let us put a marker uh, add curve marker okay so you can see here the frequency of operation is 2.34 Yeah, so this is all. Thank you so much.